All right, this is TJ Niche Dash Nine YouTube channel. We're about to be showing y'all all of these uh, shoes we got right here. This is all of our shoes, all our collection and stuff. This is my dude Cam. Yeah, that's that's me. So what we're right. gonna do is he's gonna show his shoe collection, then I'm gonna show show mine, and we're just basically gonna be talking about like how we got the shoes, you know, where we got them, how much they mean to us. Like tell us the story, and yeah. All right, here you go first. Okay, yeah, hey, so I'm going first. Okay, so first off, I got. These shoes, these are LeBron 12, 4th of July's. I got these freshman year back in August, and I used to wear these all the time. Isn't that right, Pa? I used to wear these so much because these were the only good shoes I had. So I used to wear these, and they're a little yellow on the bottom. But now I just use them as weightlifting shoes. I've had them for over a year now, so that's that. And next, I got these shoes back in 8th grade. These are penny posits. As you can see, they're a little worn out, yellow on the bottom. Not really to talk about these shoes. These shoes kind of got me into like sneaker collecting. Like as you can see, they're definitely worn down on the bottom. But that's that. Now we're gonna get into a little bit better shoes. I got some Adidas Ultra Boost. I do got another pair. I got the triple whites, the ones with like the yellow, yellowish sole. But I don't got those with me right now. But these are the Adidas Ultra Boost. I don't know which like number they are. You guys can probably tell by just looking at them. But I don't know which number those are. I got some all white old school Vans. Let's see, they got the leather like Vans logo. I don't wear these too often, but yeah. I forgot to tell you the story about these ones. I got these ones at Foot Locker. Like, I was really looking for some Ultra Boost, and right when I saw these like on the shelves, Todd was with me. I bought these instantly. Like, right when I saw them, I was like, I didn't even look at the size. I was just like, yeah, give me those shoes. Um, these are some Sperry's. Nothing much really to talk about them. They're just boat shoes. I got another pair. Boat shoes. Here's some LeBron 7s. These were Todd's. But then I, I finessed them. Gave them, like, $5. Isn't that right, Todd? <laughs> and I got... Some LeBron 7 soldiers, kind of beat. All right, now we're going to start getting into like the retros and the LeBron line. So I got some all white, well, not all white, Jordan 1 mids with the gold aglets. I got these at the PX. Nothing much to talk about there. Next is the best release of 2016, no doubt about it. Banned. Red Jordan 1s, 2016 edition. They got the really nice leather. They got like the shattered backboard leather on like the toes and the the ankles. I love them. These are my favorites, favorite shoes ever. Um, I got the 2013 edition Bugs Bunny 8s. I haven't cleaned them in a long time. They're a little bit creased on the toes, but I love these shoes. I don't wear them too often, but when I do, you know, compliments come my way. Isn't that right, Todd? Anywho, all right, now we're going to start getting into a little bit more of the LeBron James signature shoes. These, you guys might know what these are, you might not. These are the What the LeBron 11. These came out in 2014. Not many people got these because they were kind of limited, but these are the LeBron 11. What does? I got these on eBay. They are real. Look at that lace lock. Don't be telling me these are fake. These are 100% authentic. What the LeBron 11s. I got these shoes mean a lot to me. Like when I was in, when I was like not much into sneakers, I saw these shoes on Google. And I was like, wow. I love those shoes. These these turned into my dream shoes really quickly. I didn't really know where to find them. I wasn't really into shoes, I just kind of like looked at them a lot. They're the LeBron 11 Elite SE from 2014, like all other LeBron 11s. They got the multicolored insides, and yeah, they kind of got like the LeBron 12 outsole. And yeah, I got these shoes off eBay also for like 250 dead stock. I got these dead stock also. I, I, I got these off eBay, but not dead stock for like 150 Um, Next, I got... The 2014 Carmine 6s, not in the greatest condition, 
but they still got icy bottoms, unlike other people's sixes. Jumpman Air. I'm really waiting on them to re-retro these with a the Nike Air. That's going to be an instant, instant buy. Um, next, I got Metallic 5 OGs. Where'd these come from, Todd? Yeah, I don't even want to talk about it right now. I, I traded him for these shoes. I traded him some Kobe 10 Elites, some Russell Westbrook Jordan 1s, and 20 bucks for these. See, they got the Nike Air on the back, still icy. And unlike a lot of the Metallic 5s, these one got the purple icy lace lock. You can't really see them, but they are the purple icy lace locks. They got the 3M tongue, you know. Now, my only pair of exclusive Air Jordans. We got the Champagne Jordan 8s from 2016. These are also, like, in my top three best release in 2016. My number three would have to be, like, Someone's calling me. The Confetti 8s. Um, those are really nice. They got the tumbled leather, but I basically got these off eBay for Christmas. I wore them three times so far. No creasing. I still got the dead stock knot in them. And yeah, that's that. My last shoe that I'm going to be showing you guys are my Timberland Basics. You can ask all of my friends. I wear these. Ooh, look at that. I wear these too much. Like, I love these shoes. So you got the tongue flop going on. and Yeah, that's that's my shoes, my shoe collection. So, Todd, you go ahead. All right, so I don't, I don't got as much sneakers as him, but I still got, I think, a good collection to start out with. All right, and it, all the shoes that I don't have laced up, it's just because, like, I'm cleaning them right now. But here, let's get started. So, like, the first pair I got, just some all-white basic Air Force. There's not much to say. I got me some... Harachis, I'll, I'm starting to do a custom on. I'm like working on them. I'm making some like what the, I guess. I don't know. I got me some Jordan 1 Russell Westbrooks. These are the shoes that he gave me for them fives or one of them. I'll tell you what happens to the other one as I get to it in a second. These things are pretty good, I think. I like the colorway of it. It just stands out. I like shoes that stand out. And yeah, all right. So these. Uh, huh. These were my first pair of retros. They at first they were the infrared six lows, and then I customized them to like the bread six lows. I called them. They were black and red. Now that I, I'm like trying to do like a carmine theme to them, I don't know, but I might just leave them like they are now, just like to ball in. I don't know. I guess I'm not sure yet. Next pair got me some playoff eights, the 2014 ones. They're not in the best condition, but I still like them. They're comfy. I just, I don't know, it's like I'm getting the shoes that are all about comfort now. Are those the 2013 ones? No, these are the 20, oh shoot, my, <laughs> my bad, these are the 2013 ones. Same ones as these, Holly. Huh? My bad, here. same shoe, just different colorway. Uh, the story behind these is my friend, ooh, my friend John Aaron, he gave me a good deal on these, 85, I'm paying him, I'm in the, in the process of paying him, 85 for him, I'm almost there. If you wash this suit, I got you, just, you just gotta wait a little bit, I'll get the money and give it to you. All right. Uh, and the next pair I got are some Maroon 6s. These are the 20, I think, yeah, the 2015 release. Got that, got that Nike Air on yeah, the they back. Came out December 2015. December 2015, whenever they came out. They, they got the Nike lace They got a little bit yellowing. Got the Nike lace locks right there. I wear the, I don't wear these as much as I would like to. I should start wearing these a lot more. But yeah, that's those. My last pair are the shoes that I traded the other pair that he gave me for the fives. The Kobe 10s. The Kobe 10s, some black infrareds, man. I think I got these for a steal. Traded some decent condition Kobe 10 elites for these, the black infrared six. Show them the bottoms, Todd. Okay, Show them the, the only flaw is the bottoms right there. They, they're not exactly <laughs> the best, but they're fine to me. I don't really care about that. And I'm right now in the middle of going up and bringing these back to life, going up and fixing all the you gotta, you gotta the, bring them close to the camera. Going up it. Show them, show them how Look, you uh, see all them scuffs all uh, up on there? I'm, I'm in the process of going up and fixing that up. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do with the bottoms, man. They just. My car mines have scuffs too. I'm they're just like, I don't even closely. know. See them right there. Some scuffs. But, yeah. So, yeah, that is all of our sneakers, even though he has more. That's still all of our sneakers. 
So uh, I hope you like this video. Going up and like and subscribe. TJ Sneaks Hines. Tell your friends. Going up and get help me start out my YouTube channel. And yeah, that's it for right now. Uh, so.